I got my Walmart exclusive Guardians of the Galaxy Star-Lord. Now, if only I could find that cell shaded Spider-Man. Womp womp. Geeks, what's poppin'? Star-Lord is in the house. Walmart surprised me. They shipped it overnight for some reason. I don't know why. It was two day free shipping, but I won't complain. He comes with a sword and extra hands. Ooh, and a blaster. All right, we've got La Pistola. We got a fist. We have a sword. And we got that itchy hand over there ready for that trigger. Twitter fingers turn to trigger fingers. Uh, this is Comic Star Lord. I can't even do the who joke. They did a pretty good job of making him look like his comic book version. I didn't read a lot of stories with Starla growing up. I did read a lot of Guardians of the Galaxy stuff, but he was the least interesting of the group. Not saying he was boring, but I mean, you've seen the group, you know what's up. I didn't pay that close of attention to him. Going back and looking at the pictures from the comic books I actually own, this is pretty much spot on. The only big difference I can see is the belt. They do have this like sunburst, right? But on the belt, there was like some carvings and stuff, but I guess we're not going to expect that kind of detail. Everything else looks pretty darn good. Now the paint job is suspect. There's missing paint there on his arm, missing paint there, missing paint there. And then you go down to his legs. The gold here is a little bit different from the gold on his boots. I don't know if they meant to do that, but I don't understand why they couldn't use the same color gold on each. Make a match, because as it is right now, it may not look as bad on camera, but off camera, this is like a real shimmery nail polish type gold. And this is like a dull spray paint type gold. I think the helmet head sculpt is top notch. It did a really good job there. No complaints whatsoever. The paint on the skin looks realistic and fleshy. Get a 360 up top. Nice guardian tilt left. Galaxy tilt right. Uh, and of look down. The look up. I'm reaching here. Arms get up parallel to the shoulders, nice and straight. Butterfly joints make that wingspan sick. <sighs> Nothing makes me more confident in your ability to guard the galaxy than a nice tight hug. Come on, give me a hug. You get 360 at the arm. I love butterfly joints. 360 at that bicep. That isn't painted right, and 360 at the wrist. Double jointed pinless elbows bringing that work. Flex. Abdominal crunch. Can you tell the difference when I do a review early in the morning than when I do it at night? I have a little bit too much energy. Move it way back. Way back. Kind of surprised the bend isn't there. Once you get past this angle, the legs start to flare outwards. So that's what you get for a straight on kick. Although it doesn't flare out a lot, so if you put it all the way up for the kick, it doesn't look bad. When you face four, you can see that leg is kicking out to the left. Belt is not glued on, so you can move it up if you want to get some more leg action because this holster gets in the way sometimes. Splits there. And damage is eh. Beneath that belt, you do get a 360. There are... Are there intermittent clicks? No, there's... You get one click in front and one click when it goes to the back. So I guess that's intermittent by definition. 360 at the thigh cut. Oh wow, missing paint going down the leg too. Didn't see all that, it's pretty bad. And then the calf cut and then 360 at the foot. Double jointed pinless knees give you fantastic range. He's kicking his own butt. If I turn his foot the right way, there you go. Boink, in the booty. Can you say booty on YouTube? Galaxy Prancer. I thought it'd be a bit more of a dancer, but nah. 
Those toes don't point up too much. Look at that gold shimmer in there. How tall is my guy? Six and a quarter inches. There he is with the MCU Cosmo, and I know it's MCU, but a dog's a dog, right? Yeah, there's a size difference there. Ooh, these guys look good together. If I was a photographer, I'd do a nice fight scene where Star Lord's flying in and then getting punched by Thanos while he grabs his beard. So what is my opinion? I like him. I think they did a really good job on him for the most part. Hopefully the paint issues I have aren't prevalent throughout the line. Hopefully you'll get yours and it'll be clean. Luckily I have some white acrylic paint. I'm gonna try and test that up without ruining it. My only two gripes, the gold on the bottom of his calf doesn't really match the boot. And I wish there was a little bit more flexibility in here in the upper thigh joints. Other than that, he's cool. I'm glad we're getting comic book versions of the Guardians of the Galaxy. This is two within 30 days of each other. Hopefully Marvel will announce some more so that way you can build out your shelf. All right, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'm trying to pump out more videos. I've just kind of fallen off since December. Production is down. Viewership is down because the production is down. I'm trying to get it back up, guys. Life is tough, but I'm pushing through. All right, thanks for watching. Sound off in the comments. Let's have... All right, thanks for watching. Sound off in the comments. Let's have a conversation about this dude. Till next time, geek out.